Hello, hello. I am Brittany Rowe. I am energy. I am powerful and I am who I say I am. Today, we're going to be making some garbanzo beans or chickpea soup. Either way. Well, when I normally make it, it's normally soup. But today, I'm going to add some rice to it. So, we're going to call them garbanzo beans. It really don't matter what you call them. It's kind of like red beans and rice, so to speak. My version of red beans and rice and fried chicken, this particular meal here. So, anyway, I'm buying bulk. So, I have this big Heartland um, garbanzo bean bag that I get... Um, from rest where restaurants shop so um i think this is available well actually i know it's available at whole food store and i've seen it at asian markets before and i'm not sure where else okay so anyway garbanzo beans are kind of like red beans and rice so you have to boil them maybe four to five hours just like you do red beans and rice a long time but i soaked mine so this shouldn't take long i soaked mine overnight and um i don't normally I'll, i make it a soup normally but today i'm gonna add some white um some wild rice to it just a little bit of wild rice on the side in lieu of white rice wild rice has not been stripped of its minerals it has not been enriched it is already rich this is alkaline rice and this is beneficial to electrify your electric body proof of that is when you are boiling wild rice and you watch it you will see it electrify or pop up to the top of the pot that you have white rice will just sit there at the bottom with no life force no energy just stagnated choose wild rice instead it's longer to cook yeah but you season it up and you're good because you're getting your minerals you're getting your life force and so on the side i'm going to get some organic um peas and i i'm going to set them on the side and i want you to notice about these particular peas they do not have salt in them sometimes when you buy salt i mean buy peas even if it doesn't have the word organic or not pay attention to the fact that they are putting salt in it because when they say sea salt okay that's good salt that salt worked with you because it hasn't been stripped of all of its minerals it has its life force it has a hue or a color and it is in a bit and it is in a proper balance but if you have peas and then you look at the ingredients and it says peas and salt then you know that it is not sea salt it is white toxic salt because it would have said sea salt it is white toxic salt which has been stripped of its minerals this is why it caused so many health issues and, and high blood pressure and then the doctors say stay away from that salt and i'm saying this because salt is in that toxic salt is in a lot of things just like when we were cooking the tacos and the um the field burgers you know they the processed foods have a high amount of sodium inside of it and most often than not they'll just have regular salt it ain't gonna normally be the you know the pink Himalaya sea salt you know and so with that in mind, you're getting the toxic salt a lot if you're eating a lot of processed food, even as a vegan. And this is why we have some vegans who health is not up to par because they don't pay attention to these simple things like the oils, like the salts, like of the amount of um, estrogen or uh, soybean that they consume, all right? They give people, the prisoners in jail, a lot of soy. Why? Because they don't want them up in there with all that testosterone. You know, they want to calm them down. So they, they food has a lot of soy in it because the estrogen can take over in them. And so then they'll be doing, you know, calmer things. And sometimes even sticking something up, something that they ain't supposed to be sticking something up in jail you know how they go the other way when they go to jail anyway it's because of that estrogen dominance it's because of the food that they're eating with all of the soy inside of it so even as a vegan you gotta really pay attention to ingredients because you will go vegan and then you eating all the soy 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 and you're wondering why your gut is not healing you know why you still don't have the energy and you're putting all this processed food inside of you and you're still getting that toxic salt toxic salt then the processed food a lot of times it still has a canola oil canola oil so these things are messing with even vegans so they have vegans that are really not healthy because they are not at that level remember i talked about how their levels were working out where there's levels of eating right too and you got to really know what you put it into you can't just say oh this is like organic yeah you, you can't just say a, a lollipop is organic you can't just say crawfish is organic you know like what like 
ass is organic too? I mean, come on now. When are we gonna start with that? So we gotta be mindful. We have to know. We have to know better in order to do better. They have this little meme. I think it's with a um, a little monkey eating a banana or smoking a cigarette or whatever. Anyway, he was like, they got a lot of fat ass um, vegans out there. Somebody lying, you know. So this is how we have those type of vegans that's out there, and maybe they think they're doing right. But just like when we was in school, you study for that test. You think you did good on that test until you get that grade back though. But what about that grade? <laughs> what about that medical report? You know, you think you, ooh, I'm healthy, I'm doing right. You go to the doctor and get that annual checkup and be like, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> okay, anyway, like I said, we're gonna um, always have my watercress or my um, cilantro, you know, one or the other or both because these are like the heavy metal type, the chelation type herbs. They're powerful superfoods in my opinion and I always try to put them in my food one or the other or both but today we're going to do both and we're going to put this in a tail end because we don't want to cook that we just want that to kind of like be on the tail end and kind of simmer in because we want that light flow force we want this here chlorophyll we want this magnesium you know we want this iodine we want all of these natural sources these leaves that's going to brush and cleanse out that digestive system and them kidneys and and that clogged artery and the liver and you know and leave that that ash in our um abdominal um beneficial bacteria you know and so we have here the green onion and this purple onion i always go for the darker onion remember the darker the berry the sweeter the juice well it's just the same with onions too this is more powerful than the other sweet onions the white onions more minerals more light force here and look at this y'all we got some cherry tomatoes whoop whoop and they're still on the vine. They look so pretty to me. So I'm going to um, add them to my um, garbanzo beans. And on the side, I have me some portobello mushrooms. Yes, I do. I love me some portobello mushrooms. You put a little batter together. I don't know how I'm going to do it just yet. Like I said, we're going to go with the, with the flow. Put a little batter together. And some flour on there. And you seasoning that sucker. Really, really good. This your fried chicken right here. I'm telling you, y'all, look at my skin. I'm black. I know fried chicken substitute when I taste fried chicken substitute. And this is it right here. I love, love, love portobello mushrooms. So we're going to fry some portobello mushrooms today inside of our um, deep fryer. And we're going to use avocado oil to do that. Because remember, avocado oil is all of choice when you're doing high heating points. And that deep fryer is going to be on a high heating point. And so I'm about to... Oh, wait, of course, we're going to add um, all color peppers. We always do that. Um, they're frozen peppers. And because, I, you know, I already shared that with you. I buy in bulk. So when I get my peppers, I already cut them up and put them in the freezer. All colors, all of my onions. I just bought another batch of onions. That's the only reason why this one here out. But I'm about to cut all of that up. Get my um, cherry tomatoes off of the vine. Cut up my season. Um, chop up my mushrooms. Start my um, beans back to boil because like I said, they, they were um, soaking last night. And after I do that, I'll be right back. Okay? <laughs> okay, so I chopped up my mushrooms. And this was my cilantro and my watercress. And these were my cherry uh, tomatoes. Remember how I, how I said um, how cute they was? Guess what? We don't care how cute they were, we gonna wash them all. So let's make sure we wash off our, our stuff, y'all. Because even if it's organic, even if it's organic, they use pesticides too. Just like for example the, the um the grapes and stuff, they use cobwebs and stuff on um organic fruit, you know, so um bugs. So the, you know the spiders could kill the little bugs that try to come over there. So you gotta be mindful. I'm gonna look. You gotta be mindful. Wait, hold up. I gotta go get some. Okay, that doesn't matter. So yeah, like I said, you gotta be mindful of um of your fruit and your vegetables. You know, cleaning them off good. You know, because put them underneath tap water. Mm, mm, that's really not cleaning them. You know. Anyway, with the um. Mushrooms, like I say, I like to boil mine down just a little bit to get rid of that brown and dirty water. 
the dirty brown you know water or residue that's on it so i'm gonna bring it to heat not boil it all the way but bring it to heat a little bit so i'm not gonna spray that and i'm about to put my wild rice on let me show you the the stove right quick okay so you can see in the back in the back i have my um my peppers like i said i chopped up the peppers they're on the back they're not on just yet i just have the front burner on the front burner is on with a little bit of uh, avocado oil. It's almost to boil. I see it bubbling at the bottom. This is gonna be the part that this is gonna be the part that I put my um, my wild rice in. So actually, I'm about to add my rice. I'm not gonna do all of this rice because I like it in soup form sometimes. So, all right, so. I just added my rice and right here we have the beans. The beans are already boiling. It look like I'm gonna need some more water. But I wanna show you as it gets closer. Let me add a little bit of water first. As it gets closer to the end. What I like to do is get a spoon like this and kind of smoosh them on the side of the pot. <laughs> smoosh them just a little bit. I like them soft and it helps it. When you do this, it helps to um, it cook. I asked her. They almost done. So I didn't have to. I didn't have to cook these long at all. All I've been doing was cutting up my seasoning. So soaking them really, really helps. If you don't soak them, it's gonna take a long time for them to get done in one setting. See, this is the kind of meal that I like to prepare more than those other other meals. Um, you know with the processed food because you put your love energy into this here you know just you transferring your energy cleaning cleaning your your t um cherry tomatoes you know making sure the pesticides you should you giving love to that tomato you know you rinsing it off you you stirring this pot you know you this is your creation of love your energy and you know what everything is you know that you put the right type of oil, the right type of love, the right type of seasoning and herbs and the right type of time and energy into it versus going to like a drive up, you know, like you go to a drive up and you, Lord forbid, you forget something. I don't like a different look, y'all. Lord forbid you um, forget to order something. You forget to order something in drive through and you're like, Give me another jalapeno on drive through at the window. You know, like they, you know, we need another leg over here. You know, the energy of people, the workers not want to be there, transferring that energy to you, you know, to your food, rather. I don't like, I don't like people putting my food like that, you know. Not that I know. Then I don't like people that, I don't like um, knowing what's going on. In the back with my food. <laughs> Let me see. Did you eat it? What you put in there? You know. So this way you know. This is good. To be part of the process feels good. It feels good. These are my favorite types of meals to me. Love me. Yes, sir. It's gonna be delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. All right. Okay. I like how this is coming out. And it since it's nearly I am going to start adding seasoning. 
such as black pepper, cayenne pepper, celery seed, parsley, basil, bay leaf, oregano, thyme, savory, rosemary, cumin, mustard, garlic, orange peel, tomatoes, granules, lemon, juice, pepper, oil of lemon, and citric acid. So, so we're gonna first add the 21 seasoning salute. Alright, and I didn't see anything in those ingredients that say sea salt, so guess what? Let me throw some sea salt. And I like spice. So yeah, got some chili pepper. Some chili pepper. Mm -hmm. I'll add some more later probably my son get mad at me if I had too much so <laughs> how that goes but I want to eat it so this is that oregano though is that oregano though I love oregano I love oregano and this is some onion onion powder peppers in a different pot so I'm about to make a little transfer here right quick. Let's see. Alright. So in here and here we have green onions and the all colored peppers. Yeah I don't I didn't see my orange my orange pepper so it is not all colored peppers. And I have um purple onion down there. I don't know what my orange And so I'm we'll gonna put a little bit of this smoked sea salt on here. My mama gave me this here. It's not in the smoked sea salt container, but that's what that is. <laughs> that, that tastes really, really good. And I'm gonna season this up just like I seasoned um, the cabanza uh, beans, but just lightly seasoning it because I want this here to transfer flavor into the bean too. I'm not gonna put no pepper on that. I don't want to get too spicy. I ain't gonna add some more oregano and onion powder on this here little batch of peppers. And these are going inside of the bean. I'm gonna let them cook down while those mushrooms back there cooking down and then I'm gonna transfer all of this into that pot. And it's gonna be delicious. I know it. I know it already. I know it already. I can feel it already. The onions at the bottom now. The onions look so delicious. So I put a little bit of water at the end of the pot, and I'm gonna saute this down. And by the time this finishes sauteing, these mushrooms gonna be done. And I'm gonna drop it all in there. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the brown water I'm loving about. I want to get rid of this here. I'm going to rinse this out because it's going in the beans. And so that's how I do my mushrooms. So now I like warm them so they get to that boiling stage. Drain the water out and then add them spoon off and then I add them 
So we have our cherry tomatoes. It was it sit inside water. I put them in some water. What a hydrogen peroxide was on it. And I'm about to drain this and add this to the pot. Okay. So now at this point, this is the time that I stir this up and taste and make sure it's not too spicy. So my like, I don't have to hear my son complaining about it. <laughs> Which it is not, so that's good. So I'm gonna add some more. I'm gonna add some more season. Just a little bit more salt. A little bit more. Chili peppers. And a little bit more onion. <laughs> a little bit more everything, y'all. A little bit more. It was the 21 season salute. Okay. And I'm going to let that chill. This is the tail end, so I'm adding my. I could have cut this down a little bit more. I'm adding my cilantro. I'm not gonna add all of this though. I'm gonna cut this down some more. One second. Okay. That's good. Like I said, I'm not gonna add all of this. I'm gonna save the rest of this actually for a salad for myself. That's why I didn't worry about cutting it up too small. But I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave too big up pieces up in there. All right, and we're gonna put some cherry tomatoes. It really doesn't matter that I didn't cut these up because the heat, the heat, gonna bust them open anyway. He's gonna bust them up anyway. And please don't tell, please don't tell my son. Well, I'm gonna add an extra spice up in here too. Remember those jalapeno peppers, y'all? That I told y'all about the other day? That sweet and spicy jalapeno? I'm gonna add some of those for you. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a little flavor. Nothing but a little flavor. Sweet and spicy. Alright. Let me rinse this off and put that top on there. And I think we got a winner off in here. Okay, I'm about ready to get my portobello mushrooms going and I want to show you real quick that I use teff, not teff, 
flaxseed <laughs> flaxseed meal I just use flaxseed meal for this part to wet I wet my mushroom I make sure it's wet and then I get some flat um why I keep saying that flaxseed meal and I put it in a bowl this is kind of like um to make it you know to keep it wet I stir this up that's gonna make my um mushroom wet and then I dip it in my choice flour. Today I'm gonna to be using tap. That's why I keep saying tap. Today I'm gonna to be using tap and spelt flour mixed together. And it looks like it's tap flour. And my spelt is actually in a bag, yo, but I have my spelt in this bag. And we're about to get rolling because this grease is hot. Let's do it. Okay. So that um, flaxseed meal is where I put my seasons at. So the seasons could be already inside of the batter. I put it all together already in a little um, bag. So y'all ain't gonna see that part. <laughs> but anyway, I season my, my stuff ahead of time. And that way when a quarter of the mushroom is done, it already has flavor to it. It won't be lacking any flavor. Portobello done. Fried portobello mushrooms are done. I forgot all about the green peas. Um, rice almost done. And let's check on. Let's check on this chickpea soup. Ooh, la, la. Look what? See them little um, cherry tomatoes. See how soft they are? They just explode in the pot. That's why I can let them just explode in the pot. Can you see that? Let's see. Yeah, you can see it. You're going to see it. You're going to see it on that meat. That's what you're really going to see. Alright, so that's that. I got to get the green peas and strain this here. Let me, let me see. I want a piece of this here. I want a piece of this here right now. Some fried some fried 
You hear that, huh? That fried. Oh, the bell. Mmm. Mmm. I know y'all hear that crunch. Mmm. Look at that crunch on the side. These were the first ones. That second batch looked actually crunchier than these. I should have took one of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my green peas back here, y'all. All I did was put a little bit of splash of water at the bottom of the pot. And some chopped up onions. I put onion powder and sea salt. But I'm also gonna add some sesame seeds, kelp, and well, actually white sesame seeds and black sesame seed in this particular blend right here that I got from Trader Joe's. So it's white sesame seed, black sesame seed, nori, which is a seaweed, you know, those seed vegetables I tell you about, salt, kelp. Wait, oh, kelp powder. So I'm going in the middle. And I took a seat. So this is really good. I could actually eat these like a little snack, you know, because I like to eat those little kelp um, flakes. So anyway, this is a good season. I'm going to just put this on top. <laughs> Sesame seeds back there. Woo, woo, woo. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Everything I'm going to really really is done to be honest okay and these all this is the uh, rice the wild rice i strained it that's all we got the chicken over here i mean the portobello mushrooms over here the uh chickpea soup over here Woo! i gotta fix me a plate welcome to melanated beacon may i have your order please <laughs> What? You want a two-piece uh, portobello mushroom with some chickpeas and jalapenos? Oh, okay. You want the rice? Mm. Okay, okay. And you want some green peas too, baby? All right. Your total is going to be $9.99. Because, you know, nine is a number of completion and you are complete. <laughs> Yes, love. You are complete, boo. And remember, you are who you say you are. <laughs> That's what I'll be saying. I, I ain't gonna have to drive through, but I'm gonna be on my food truck running my mouth. <laughs> I'll be on that food truck running that mouth, y'all. Okay. Now, but let's put this on a plate. Jerry woke, so he's gonna be our um, test taster. Yeah, I'm about to make you a plate, babe. Just a little bit. Stop. You ever felt like that, Jared? 
Yeah, yeah from being around the food. <laughs> I never got full from it. But like I'd be like stupid hungry, but then as I'm looking at the food come to me, I stop being hungry. Because I know I'm about to eat it. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, this one's mine. You eating a whole one right now? No, that chicken from Popeyes. That's just, you know, this is like my native vegan chicken, right? <laughs> Welcome to Memory Vegan. Here's your order, sir. You want to use this one? Okay. Okay, sir. Could you try that for me, please? <laughs> Is that? Boy, you hear that crunch? You hear that crunch? I know that's what you was going for. That crunchy chicken. See, I put some of that, um, some of the multi-purpose seasoning inside of the peas. Did you taste it on the peas? <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. That's good, huh? I know. I mean, I don't need to be braggadocious, but I know. I put my heart in it. That's what it's really all about. You just eat love, boy. You eat love. Wait, you telling me there's real human heart in here? Mine. All day, every day. Watch, watch. Ooh. Be gentle with my arteries now. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the good thing about this meal is that I don't have to cook tomorrow. It's gonna hold us over. It's healthy. I know everything that's inside of it, and it was made out of love. That's the most important thing because it's all about energy, transforming your energy. What's wrong with you? Or transfer your energy. Did you do something similar on camera? No. Oh. Okay. Anyway, that's the end of this video. From my heart to yours. I'm not hungry right now, y'all, so I'm going to eat some later. Be blessed.